a little anxious. We are actually only five minutes walk now from the Brazen Head. <laughs> and um, there's lots of food there as well as drink. <laughs> Tea and coffee. Yes, there is, yes. There's also refreshments and food in the teacher's club um, from 2 30. Yeah. So if you want to have a drink in the Brazen Head, you can have some food teacher club or I could do the other way around, whatever. Um, right, we're now on the steps of Green Street Courthouse. Uh, as I said, mentioned already, we're hoping to get in here. The original dock um, at which um, Emmett gave his speech is on display in there, but we won't actually see it today. Um, it's the scene of a number of very famous trials, some of the more famous being Robert Emmett's trial, Wolf Cone's trial and some of the Fenian leaders. And on my left here, where there's a public park now, is the original site of um, Newgate Prison. Now, in 1798, many of the leaders were imprisoned here, including Wolf Tone. And um, after his trial here in Green Street Courthouse, he was imprisoned in Newgate. Um, but as most of you know, he took his own life before he heard his death sentence. So um, you can actually see a part of Newgate Prison when we're passing down here, or even from looking here, if you look at E. McManus and Sons over there, you see an original gate of the prison. It's actually right in the wall there. It looks quite incongruous, but that's actually an original gate into Newgate Prison. Um, now, because Green Street is very much, we are actually on Halston Street. Uh, Green Street is parallel to here, and it's the front entrance of the courthouse. But I chose here because of the show. Oh, he likes to <laughs> so I'm going to call him again to sing um, a song about Robert Emmett and after that uh, we're going to have an extract from Robert Emmett's speech from the dock uh, with Philip then uh, Jerry O'Reilly is going to sing uh, old Robert Emmett after that we're going to have a tune a few tunes on the pipes maybe the fiddle as well hopefully and we're going to end with um, Mary singing and everybody join, joining in in the chorus of the bold Fenian men and then we head to raising it. Okay Barry, um, we've got a song now about Robert Emmett, I'll let you introduce it. Um, right, this is a song that was written in the 60s, it's called Young Emmett and it was written in the 60s by Paddy Bon O'Brien, uh, some of whose family may be, may be around with us today. Um, Frank actually asked me to, well, he asked me, he said, why don't you learn that song in my book? It's in Frank's book, uh, Songs of Dublin. So he says, we sing all my, the rest of me ones, we should finish off the job. <laughs> I know he didn't say that. <laughs> Just with his eyes. <laughs> so anyway, um, do join in the chorus, but I'm going to do a Frank on it. If I start too, uh, too high or whatever, I'll just stop and start again, you know, because I am very high up here. Yeah. My name is Barry Please. Thank you for that. Um, right. <clears throat> in Green Street Courthouse in 18 and 3 stood young Emmett, the hero true and brave, for fighting the tyrant his country to free and to tear from her brow the name of slave. There are still men in Ireland, both loyal and true, who remember her patriots with pride. And with God's help, young Emmett, we'll soon give to you the epitaph unwritten since you died. Alone and defiant, he stood in the dock while Lord Norbury, the hanging judge, looked down. How oh, against their false charges he stood firm as a rock, another Irish martyr to the crown. There are still men in Ireland, both loyal and true, who remember her patriots with pride. And with God's help, young Emma, we'll soon give to you the epitaph unwritten since you died. The verdict was guilty. The sentence was death, and in Thomas Drake the tyrant's work was done. Ah, but young Emmett smiled as he drew his last breath, 
For he knew the fight for freedom would be won. There are still men in Ireland, both loyal and true, who remember her patriots with pride and with God's help, young Emmett. We'll soon give to you the epitaph unwritten since you died.